Namaskar. You are welcome to our virtual class. Dear students, today we are learning social studies here. And today's lesson is Federalism in Nepal. Under the unit, we are talking about the Bhagmati province. It is the lesson we are learning today. Uh, first of all, let me remind the lesson we learned yesterday. Yesterday, we learned about province number two. In the lesson, we learned about the physical features of province number two and uh, uh, natural resources of province number two, economic activities, what people do there, and the major cultivation areas, uh, which crops are uh, that food crops, uh, the cash crop grown there, what are the general features that province number two has, we clearly talked yesterday. And what are the possibilities of the development to raise the economy of province number two? We studied. What are the hindrances of the development of province number two? Province number two we studied in the lesson yesterday. Now we are talking about the Bagmati province. Now uh, I am drawing your attention towards the screen. There is a map of Nepal, federal map, and it has the seven parts. It means that Nepal has seven provinces. Dear students, we learned about province number one, province number two. Now we are talking about province number three or Bagmati province. And Bagmati province lies in mid part of Nepal. It has the area of 20300 square kilometer, which is the 14% land area out of the total land area of Nepal. Then the population it includes is 5529452, which is the 20.8% of total population live in Nepal. Then its administrative center, capital, is Hattawa. That is Willand. Means a uh, general uh, feature of the Bagmati province we are talking. Now, that Bagmati province includes uh, three physical divisions of Nepal. Means mountain region, hilly region, and Thrai region. From north part to south part, they are the uh, Bagmati region includes. Then it has 13 numbers of the districts and it has Gauri Sankar, Ganesh, and Lamtang. These are the mountain peaks lie here. Then uh, Tamakosi, Indravati, Tirsuli, Narayani, the Kamala, the Bagmati are the major rivers. They are irrigating the land of Bagmati. Uh, province. Now, we are talking about the vegetation. We already uh, knew that it has three physical divisions. Nepal has altitudinal variation. Then, uh, according to the temperature, according to the climate, that uh, Bangmati region is characterized by three different vegetations. They are subtropical evergreen, deciduous forest, and coniferous or alpine forest. These are the uh, vegetation available here. The protected areas, the land designed, allocated in order to preserve the biodiversity and the vegetation. These are the protected areas. And we call them as a national park or conservation area or the wildlife reserve. Here, Langtang, Sivapuri Nagarjun, Sitawan, Gauri Sankar. You can see there on the screen. These are the protected areas of Gandaki, uh, uh, sorry, Bagmati province. Major ethnicities. Major ethnicities means tribe, jat, race of Bagmati province are Brahmin Shetri. And Nevar Tamang Magar. 
दीज आर द मेजर इथनिसिटीज और द रेसिस दे लिव और सेटल इन बागमती प्रोविंस मेजर रिलीजियस साइट्स वेयर पीपल गो इन अर्डर टू वर्शिप इन अर्डर टू फॉलो और सेलिब्रेट द रिलीजियस फेस्टिवल और रिलीजियस डिवोशन दीज आर पशुपतिनाथ स्वामीनाथ बौद्धनाथ एंड अदर कृष्ण मंदिर दीज आर द मेजर रिलीजियस साइट्स ऑफ बागमती प्रोविंस नाउ कम टू मेजर ट्रेड सेंटर्स फ्रॉम वेयर इंटरनल ट्रेड हैपन्स और दे आर द मेगा सिटीज ऑफ द प्रोविंस दीज आर काठमांडू पाटन हेटौड़ा चितवन दीज आर मेजर सिटीज दे लाई हेयर and then they have the facilities of each and everything what people especially need it. now major cultivation you may see their copy and also have been written here under the topic major cultivation coffee is grown in khabri many also is grown in chita chitawan these are the major cultivation of the province and in other people uh, follow different economy activities for the survival they live on doing farming industry and in trade foreign employment these are the field where people involve themselves for the survival these are the economy activities well where people engage now potentialities it means possibilities what are the areas can be developed can be accelerated means doing agriculture focusing on hydropower focusing on tourism industry we can develop that bagmati province means it has many places rich in uh, biodiversity rich in beautiful sceneries by this vistas and tourism development can be raised if we focus on emphasize on tourism development that bagmati province and its development can be accelerated or the spread out and another is hard power it is rich in water resources many rivers flow uh through the province and by generating water uh, generating uh, the hydropower and then energy crisis can be removed by by selling the energy obtained from hydro resources then bagmati province can go ahead in the economic development so it is its possibility then student it is the figure and here we can see the commercial farming if we do such type of farming in the uh, agricultural state uh, in uh, business oriented farming method we can raise the economic production if we produce mass and poverty ignorance such type of things can be minimized and the civilization can be occurred so through the agriculture or through the commercialization of the agriculture the economic development or the prosperity of the bagmati zone is possible so it is to be focused now we learned about potentialities we learned about physical features we understood them all now we are talking about the problems it is not without difficulty this problem is not without the hurdles the hurdles of the development of uh, the province is environmental pollution bagmati province where mega city our capital city lies and uh, we can not manage the solid to waste the or other source of waste there because of what the pollution 
is rising up, then it has to be solved as soon as possible to make our city clean and beautiful. Natural disaster, here many rivers flow, they bring flood and landslide by it. And then our development uh, is or has been blocked. So natural disaster is to be considered as the problem of the uh, province. And migration, it is the normal, pro uh, normal problem of each and every province. Uh, people migrate or shift their settlement from um, the place where there is not facility to the place where there is facility. Then uh, people migrate from the remote areas to the urban areas where every sort of facilities are available. In sorts of work, in sorts of facilities, people come uh, to Hatamuda or uh, Bhaktapur, Bhatan, Kathmandu, uh, such uh, cities because of what density of population is increasing and it has been creating so many problems directly or indirectly. And another is forcing. Forcing means illegal hunting. We have made different wildlife reserve or the national park for the preservation of the wildlife, but people illegally hunt there and it has to be uh, what controlled and it has to be managed. These are the problems. Uh, seen in uh, that uh, Bagmati province. Now we can see uh, the figure of two uh, personalities of the province. They are administrative and political personalities. One is elected, uh, elected personalities, uh, Chief Minister Dormani Powell, another is Vishnu Prasai, he is a chief province, chief of province of Bagmati province. They are working under the constitution, under the what provincial law. Now, we discussed on Bagmati province. We understood, uh, we uh, read about the attraction, about the reality in physiography or the biodiversity, climatology, what are the possibilities of the development in Bagmati province? We learned them in detail. And it is the most developed province among all because the province uh, highest capital city, uh, Kathmandu, where all sort of amenities or facilities are available and it is equipped with uh, the fertile soil and industrial areas because of what it is the most developed province. Now I am drawing your attention towards the screen. Now I am giving you some uh, works to be done for you. Uh, the questions for today are Compare the physical features between province number one and Bagmati province. Means now here you should compare the physical feature under it, climate, geo features, and vegetation with that of province number one. List out the major attraction of the province. Here you should write about Daman, Sauraha, Nagar, uh, Nagarkot. These are the specialities or the major attraction or the Darbar Square. These are the major attraction of the province. Now, I hope that you understood the lesson, what I taught you today. Well, and you can solve the question given by me in this way, hoping your kind consideration I am terminating today's lesson. Thanking you. Thank you. Have a good day.